Hey everyone, Fantasian Neo Dimension is now available. Huge thanks to Square Enix for giving us a key to test this out on the Steam Deck. I can say this is running fantastically well and is one of those perfect for Steam Deck games. However, with the weird shifting of the camera, which can be a little bit frustrating, when the camera does shift, just let go of the joystick and let it reset before you start running into hedges and getting it a little bit frustrated. So it makes it a lot easier But when that camera moves to just reset the control so that it actually does what you think it's going to. Frame rate cap wise, I will say to keep this at 60, although it can manage 90 on the OLED, it doesn't hold it perfectly, especially when we're in the outside world, running it around on the map and in some of the more graphically intense areas. And in battles, it does tend to dip under that 90 periodically. Although it's very minor, this is a game that doesn't really benefit from 90 frames per second. And by capping it at 60, you will gain nearly two watts. So you'll be able to extend that battery life up to around six to seven hours. So keeping it at 60 on the deck and in game is definitely the best here. There isn't a huge amount in the way of settings, although there is some nice game settings if you want to skip through some of the dialogue a little bit more quickly. I've been running this at 1280 by 800. I did have the frame rate at 120 to test that 90 frames per second but not needed keeping the anti-aliasing on and v-sync off will keep you very well in game now there is also a nice little feature of this called the dimension which stores up your monster battles up to a maximum of 30 monsters for you to then dive in and just fight them all at once. And you can do some funky things, getting some extra perks on those battles and learning how to spell cast and being able to curve spells and stuff makes this even more fun. Really loving this game. It did come out on mobile a year or so ago, but it wasn't really a great game to play on mobile devices. However, this is a fantastic game on the Steam Deck, especially with that low wattage and giving Final Fantasy 7 or 8 style vibes in the combat and moving around with this added bonus of taking out a lot of those random monster encounters and letting you do them all at once. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to dive into this one on Steam Deck, although it is a pricey one at £50 right now. Might want to wait for a sale, but if you do dive in, it is well worth it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.